Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick update about the true first person stuff. So here's how it looks like when you attach a camera to the third person on the body. It's attached to the head. And here's how it looks like after the animation. Smooth, there's no movement up and down. There's no cheating here, it's still attached to the head. And the approach that I took is the same approach that is done in Star Citizen, where as you can see the, the some of the movement, the subtle movement is being interpolated. So you don't get that jerky sudden movement in the camera and I'm gonna show you how it looks like from another player's perspective. And this is what it looks like. Nothing too odd, nothing too weird that breaks the animations or anything like that. It is what it is. Nothing is being changed. There's the head is being stabilized, but here's how it actually looks like from a third from your own perspective, like you as a player who is in first person. When you are in first person, this is what it looks like. Like this. It's not make, making much differences to the animation. Purely like, visual stuff, but the other players don't see this. They just see what I showed you a bit earlier. But this is what it is like for you. you. See, I'm trying my best to get that head stable and keep it in place. Don't get many of these weird janky movements. Also, if there are part of the animations that you don't want to stabilize the pelvis, for example, you don't. Like here in the jump, I don't stabilize the pelvis at all. I keep it exactly as it is. The good thing about this system is that it takes the animations as they are and then it figures out from the animations the location of the, the best location for a stable head and a stable pelvis. But the downside to this is that each animation will have to take six additional curves. I wouldn't call it the big downside, but this is how it is right now. I still have to work on the full body IK, as I'm going to show you why I need full body IK for lookout IK. For example, in this stance right here, the character has more room to turn his head to the right side rather than the left side. If you turn the same amount, let's say you have like 90 degree angle, you want to turn on both, you, you can turn here 90 probably just fine, but you can't turn here. If you do, you're going to put your head inside your shoulder. So there has to be an IK that takes all these rotations into account. Of the, of the pelvis, of everything, to find out the final rotation of the head and how to rotate everything else to reach the... like to look at the way that you need to look. So, this is what it looks like. Let's look at it again from the third person, from a first person perspective. As I said, this guy doesn't have anything special, it's just the camera that is attached to his head has used point control rotation ticked on and it's attached to the head. And this is how it would look like for first person soon enough. As soon as I finish that look at IK, hand IK is very easy to implement, it's not it's not a big deal. With aim and everything else, it'll take just a couple of days. But this was the challenge, and uh, I would say challenge cleared.
thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one guys.